Hi everybody. Wow, this is amazing. This is amazing. Look what I'm holding over here. I'm holding my newest addition to my family. This is my grandson. Wow, it's hard to believe that Leah and I are now grandparents. We are so thankful and so grateful to Hashem for this wonderful treat of being able to to merit in such a special gift and, and seeing a grandson. And of course we pray that we, we will merit seeing many more grandchildren, great-grandchildren, etc., etc. We want to bless this wonderful child who's going to have his Brit Milah his circumcision on Shabbat. Um, we want to bless him that it's going to be, he's going to, it's going to have a tremendous blessing his whole life. Of a, he's going to be a good person and, and help others and be a great, great, a great example for the Jewish nation and for the entire world. We are blessing this child to be a Torah scholar and just to love Hashem and love the land and love the world and be a good person. Look at that, he just opened his eye. With that blessing, he opened his eye. So that's going to be, he's going to learn with us today our Torah portion. Um, for the week, which is a continuation of our Per Kevot lessons. And we discussed last, last lesson about the peers, the Zugot, which were, one was the member of the Sanhedrin, the, the Nasi, the head of the Sanhedrin, the other, the other pair was his second in command. And this, this week we're going to learn about the second in command, about Yossi ben Yochanan, Ish Yerushalayim, he was a man of Jerusalem. What a wonderful title. And he says, Let your house be open wide. Let the poor people be guests at your home. Um, the opening words, of course, are so, so powerful. I mean, in this world, everything that we have is Hashem's, and, and Hashem gives us this world wonderful gifts. And everything that we have, we always have to remind ourselves that Hashem is the one who gave us this. This is not ours, which we're just borrowing it for a while in this world, for 120 years, God willing. And Yossi ben, Yo- uh, Yossi ben Yochanan is teaching us, listen guys, don't shut your doors of your house. Open the doors of your house. Let people come in. Let people visit. Be happy, be good, be kind to other people. Let, you know, let some of the person who needs a place to come, let, let your home be that. Be that for them. And open your doors. And that's a wonderful, wonderful mitzvah, a wonderful thing. And of course, let poor people partake of your home and be involved. Hi, he's up. He's learning, he's enjoying it. Um, of course, this is a tremendous, tremendous mitzvah, but I have to be honest with you guys, this, this mitzvah, of course, our wives are much more um, blessed, because <laughs> they're the ones who actually do all that heavy cooking and, uh, and get all the preparations out there. Of course, we help as much as we can on the side, but we got to thank our wives, because this mitzvah we can't do with our wonderful, wonderful wives who really lead, our, lead the home, and they are the central pillar of the home, the Jewish home. And I think this connects to the other part of this Mishnah, which is very interesting. Um, Yosef Yochan go, goes on to say, Val tabesi chayimesha, do not have long conversations um, with your wife, and all the more so with your neighbor's wife. And, um, and then he goes on to say, this will bring bad upon a person who does such, such a thing. And the question a person must ask when he learns this Mishnah is, what does the beginning have to connect, how does the beginning connect with this part of, of not having long conversations with your wife? And why not? My wife, I mean, she's my wife. I'm going to talk to her. Of course. He's not trying to go up and say, do not talk to your wife. And, okay, good morning, bye. Of course not. He's talking about respect. This whole mission is respect. Your wife is the one who brings in the guests. She's the one who makes that food. And you're, you have to you sit there at the table and smile and help along. We know that she works so hard. You can't act like a boss sometimes when a man... One second. I'm sorry, he's, he's moving around over here. Sometimes when a man... Oh, here's a little man over here. But <laughs> uh, you, you fell back asleep. Okay, where was I? I? Forgot. But anyway, let's get back to our lesson over here. Okay. Again, when your wife is sitting and preparing all the food and doing all the work, you can't come along and start saying, "Okay, want to do it this way, do it that way." Let your wife—that's her issue. When it comes to poor people coming to your home, and when it comes to people visiting your home, you watch your wife's turf. Don't get. Don't just say, "How can I help you, dear woman?" And don't. You should have very, very minimal conversation. Of course, when it comes to teaching Torah and having great conversations about education, you must go on and on and on talking because there's no way of learning Torah without proper speech and proper communication. And communication is a very important thing. But the focus on uh, the Jewish woman, of course, is respect. The Torah is very, 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 very outspoken when it comes to respecting our women and our wives. And um, we have to work very hard on that. And every day, it's an important lesson for all of us to be to be good to be good to our wives and, and our of course our parents and, and women. It's a very important thing. 
And that's a great lesson here of Rabbi Yochanan, uh, I'm sorry, Rabbi Yossi ben Yochanan, Ish Yushalayim. Um, well, it's been great to be back again. I'm so happy to share this wonderful present with you over here of a grandson. Wow, I'm sitting here and holding him and just, oh, give out as we say. It's been it's wonderful. Every second of being with this little soul is a, is a present from Hashem. Well, it's been great to see you all again, and we'll be in touch very soon. And next week we will try to learn a little more. I'm sorry for making a small lesson, but I think the, the lesson of seeing a beautiful life in this world is the greatest lesson of all. Right now, present, look at that. Shabbat shalom. Bye-bye.